Site tours have been available since the Indian River Inlet Bridge construction process began back in 2008. Now, with the end in sight, time to experience the construction project is running out. Saturday, Deldon and Skotsky USA, the company charged with building the bridge, held an open house and a bridge tour, which brought in over 600 visitors to the site. We all donned hard hats and safety vests and headed into the construction site. Below the bridge was a graphic display of various parts of the project. There was information on surveying. The Traveler, which is the current part of the project that allows sections of the bridge deck to extend over the Indian River Inlet. The creation of the foundation. The approaches to the bridge. The four towering pylons, which are on land on either side of the inlet, no part of the bridge is in the water. And the blue cable stays. A visit to the bridge deck was optional. For those of strong knees, and no issue with height. The bridge was designed with input from the public on several features, including the color of the cable stays, which is blue, and the nautical design of the pedestrian lighting. The $150 million bridge is funded 80% by the Federal Highway Administration and 20% by DILDOT. It's expected the two sides of the bridge will meet around Thanksgiving, and you'll be driving over the bridge by the end of the year. Demolition of the old bridge will be completed in mid-2013. I'm Mary Lou for WGMD News.